probably noticed the option of buy now, pay later pop up while online shopping. Well, experts are saying more Americans are opting for these services, but how is this affecting Americans who already have record high credit card debt? Well, ABC's Rena Roy has more. When you go to make an online purchase these days, most sites offer a buy now, pay later option, which allows you to split up a purchase into four equal payments over time without interest. If you are in a bind with regard to cash flow, you just want to space out payments in the moment, then you have an option to do that. If you're using it properly and you make all your payments on time, there aren't any additional fees. But CNET Money's Nick Wolney says many consumers aren't using it properly and it's contributing to America's debt problem. The Consumers who are more likely to use buy now, pay later already have student loans, already have auto loans, already have credit card debt. And so it's just compounding on this debt cycle that they're already in. And now the next time you check your credit report, you might see a new open account if you've ever used Apple's buy now, pay later service. As of this month, the tech company is providing Experian with the Apple pay later loan information. Whether that's good or bad depends on your payment history. So if you have a track record of paying on time, you using Apple Pay later, that information is going to show up in your Experian credit report, and it could contribute to a positive result in your overall credit score. We anticipate that most buy now, pay later providers are going to start providing this information to credit bureaus in the coming months. Bottom line. There's a great quote from Jay-Z. He always said, if you can't afford to pay for it up front twice, then you can't afford it. Getting really responsible and really honest with our own finances is going to be what's going to help us move forward. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.